And our top story tonight is the frigid cold here in the inland northwest. And in light of the severe weather, people have been calling on the city of Spokane to help protect the homeless population. The city said it has worked to expand shelter capacity in recent days, adding about five dozen beds to the system. Crime 2's Ian Smay spoke with the city and a local couple working to help the homeless. It is still bitterly cold out here near Camp Hope between the winds and the low temperatures. There are still a number of people camping just off of 2nd Avenue in East Central Spokane. In addition to the efforts the city of Spokane has made, I spoke with one couple earlier today that is taking it upon themselves to help those experiencing homelessness. Those making up Camp Hope on 2nd Avenue in East Central Spokane have been braving the elements. A challenge definitely made harder by the current cold front sweeping through the area. Those difficulties weren't lost on Jerry and Mary Bishop. Last night it struck me I was outside for five minutes sawing my pipes and I was so freezing to death. I thought, my God, what are the homeless people doing? How are they surviving? The couple decided to bring supplies to Camp Hope, including firewood, fire pits, hot soup, sleeping bags, and pillows. And these are people. These are someone's mom, someone's dad, someone's daughter, someone's brother. These are humans, they're beloved people. The bishops aren't a part of a larger group working to help the homeless. The couple are using their own money to bring the camp supplies in an effort to help those on hard times. They were so gracious to have some firewood and some hot soup, you know. Very, very gracious, very grateful, you know. And this, you know, there's, there's a lot of people here that, that just, they just need a hand. And, you know, not everyone here is here by choice. This comes as the city of Spokane said it's work to expand shelter capacity during the cold snap. City spokesperson Brian Coddington said in the past few days, about five dozen beds have been added to the local shelter system. That includes 40 hotel rooms and 16 beds for women between the Union Gospel Mission and Volunteers of America. The Way Out Shelter has also been providing 41 beds to ease the strain on the nightly shelter system. We were able to add additional space yesterday um, and we're continuing to add space. There are um, spots in the system that are still unused and we focused on areas that were uh, t historically need areas. Today, the city announced it had explored opening a temporary shelter space at a city roads department property on North Florida Street. The location already had fencing for security, along with open space and electricity infrastructure to provide heating. However, after pushback from the surrounding communities, the city scrapped that idea. As we st started talking to stakeholders to include the council members who represent the Northeast, and some of the neighbors, uh, they had some very uh, passionate uh, objection to it. Coddington said pretty much every time the city has explored a site to put a new shelter, it has experienced pushback from the surrounding neighborhoods. However, he said the city wants to be able to reach a compromise or an agreement with the neighborhood to locate a new facility. They do not want to force a new shelter space on a neighborhood. Reporting in East Central Spokane, Ian Smay, Crem 2 News.